Headsets and I have adult headsets. Do you think is your head big or small? Yeah, you have small heads too. Turbo, they're different. Like, this is a piston, it's like a car engine. 
And the way this works is it, it starts really fast. So it goes from this to spinning really fast in a second. So you always want to pretend that it's on and it can potentially start up any time. You never want to get air in the power. What? It's a need for power. It's a fast propeller, I'll tell you that. Don't get a need for power.
heated everything in here more than 55 degrees. So it is etching things that's in uh, Florida right now. You know, it's 24 degrees out here. And the reason is we don't want it to be below uh, 45 degrees when we start the engine. It can be after the, the metal can, can be damaged to the engine if we start it below that temperature. Right. Can I turn off the oil on the Oh, yes, there it is. So, on deck, we're going to do that. So, I'm just going to do the same check here. So, I'm just going to wipe this so I can see where the blue is. Go uh, down here, there's 
one down here. Okay, down here. And I do the same thing. And I just hold out in the, the light. No, there's no water. So we're going to go to the other side. Now. There's two more on this side. And I have to get the top of the fuel over here. step, which I'm going to wait till we pull the plane out. There's a fuel strainer in here next to the oil uh, filler, and that strains off some of the fuel right as right at the engine. So we'll do that right as we get out. Okay. So what's the next thing to do? This is the PO2 cover right here. See this? This measures airspeed. So very important because if we don't know what our airspeed is, we can not be flying accidentally. So we want to always make sure that uh, this is there. We put covers on this so that um, bees don't get in here. You can actually find bee nests and so on. Wasps nest in the summer. They'll get in there. And, uh, we actually had that happen to us once. We had parked it in a maintenance shop and didn't put this on. And we went to pick the plane up. It didn't. Uh, wasn't working on our uh, takeoff, so we had to abort the takeoff. Um, feel this right here, just don't pull on it, just touch it. Does it feel warm? Yeah. Okay, so that's, there's a heater inside that keeps ice off of this. It's kind of, it's very important today because we're going to be freezing. We're going to be potentially flying through some of these clouds. So we're going to, we want to make sure that this is working. Is that plane coming down or up? Uh, they're all All right, next step. this should do a thing so check that I'll explain what that is in a second make sure it's connected correctly. So it is, everything looks good. I'm looking at the flaps right here. Flaps are okay, there's nothing that's needed there.
messed up. Oh, that's that's uh, you checked that out. So that's okay. Yep. Does it look good? That's just all through here, and that's all closed up. Cool. So the buzz here. So we're gonna come over here. It's the only time you wanna be touching the propeller. So we're just gonna chuck all the edges of the propeller for mix. If there's any mix on it. Has it ever started into a second? No. And it's very rare, but it can happen. It has to. There has to be an electrical short for it to happen. And these two are, are always chucked down. Alright, so that looks good. The propeller looks good. The last thing we'll do before we pull the plane out is we'll take the heater off because you want the engine to stay hot. Yep, we're gonna go in in a second. Manning and taxi lights, uh, those are on for sure. I don't know if those are ready. Yep, that's fine. Yep, we're good.
that better cease? Yeah. It's a bit too loud. Uh, no, uh, wait, keep talking. Test, 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 test. Okay, that's good. Chuck one, two, do you hear me? Yeah. How do you hear? Check. Chuck one, two, all right, awesome. All right. Good to go. All right, so we're just continuing to watch the engine. It's gonna warm up here, do its thing. We're gonna uh, lean the mic, well, today we're not gonna lean it as much. Just gonna do a little bit. And we're gonna get the, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the weather report at Cuyahoga County. And so that's this over here. So we can look at Burke Lake front, 30.37 is our altimeter. And we're gonna set it here and we're gonna set it here. And this tells us where we actually are. And it's, it's a barometer setting so that we can know how high we are above the ground. And it changes depending on if there's a low pressure system or a high pressure system coming through. And 30.37 means that it's a very high pressure system. So not usually associated with good weather, won't be much bad weather uh, today. All right, and so the winds are 270 at nine. We're gonna be run taking runway 24 probably. Um, what I'll do next is I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna get an IFR clearance. And this is kind of cool. So I can actually, um, here, let me go to the checklist here. So we check the, we, we get our IFR clearance. So the next thing we, we're, we're doing here is we're gonna actually uh, call up the uh, tower and ask for a clearance. And uh, so what I did today is I filed a clearance just so we can get above the clouds. Uh, you're not allowed to fly into clouds when you're visual flight rules, but we're gonna fly with instrument flight rules today, uh, at least for partial, just to get up above the clouds and, and then maybe to come back in. Um, but that's that's what we'll do right here. So I'm gonna go in and look at the, actually gonna go in and, and look at the frequency for the clearance, which is 121.85. So I've selected that right here. So I'll go ahead and this, this red button right here, you have this button right here. This, if you hold it down. Uh, right now? You, no, you don't want to do, do okay. it. Uh, but uh, if you want if you want to talk to somebody, you would hold it down and speak. Wait, like and you who? would transmit on this frequency. Like to talk to who? Well, in this case, it's going to be to uh, Cuyahoga County Clearance. And they're going to give me my clearance. So I'll, I'll do that right now. County Clearance, good afternoon. Centurion 761 Alpha Quebec. One Alpha Quebec, County Ground. One Alpha Quebec, we are IFR. Uh, I'd like to pick up. Number one Alpha Quebec, clear to Papa Charlie Whiskey as filed. Climb maintain 3000, expect 8000, one zero minutes after departure. Charge frequency 125.35 and squawk 5103. 761 Alpha Quebec, clears as filed. 3000, 8000, and 10, 25.35, squawk 5103. One Alpha Quebec. Alpha Quebec, readback is correct. Current wind is 3006, altimeter 3035. 35, 1 Alpha Quebec. There's a 714 Whiskey Delta County Tower, transition approved, altimeter 3035. All right, so uh, we are going to look at um, the next thing on the list. So what they've done is given me a clearance and they gave me the clearance that I wanted. So I can come back over here into my, what I already had filed here, and I'm going to go send to panel. And down here, now I can say activate. And now on my map will be what I had at home. I plugged it in on my iPad. Now I have it on, uh, now I have it on this uh, as well. So where's the tower? But you can see right there. So we're gonna go over to Sandusky over here. So like where's the... The tower is behind this building. You don't see it. Oh. So. Alrighty, and we'll bring it all the way back. And here we can pull up. I usually put traffic on so we can see where the traffic is. So there's an airplane right here at 1,600 feet over here that uh, we would see if we were in the air, obviously, but uh, we don't see it today. Right now. So there's only two or one other plane. One that we can see right here, and there, yeah, maybe another one. But if I back out, look how much, there's a lot more here because this oh. is a Cleveland uh, Hopkins over here. Oh, okay. So, all right. So two five point three five is the uh, 
is the clearance uh, uh, departure frequency. And what that means is as soon as I uh, depart this tower, uh, well, I'm going to be talking to the tower when I take off. And then they'll say, go uh, uh, head over to, to uh, departure. Yeah. And I'll say, okay, see ya. And I'll switch over to departure, and that's who I'll be talking with. And that's Cleveland Departure. And they uh, coordinate all the traffic around the Cleveland area, not just this airport. That's what it's basically just we're jumping from one controller to the next, and each controller has one area of the airspace that they control. So they hand off to another controller when you're in their airspace. That makes so, sense. Like, makes sense? Yeah. But, like, w can you talk unless you do the finger thing? Yes, we can talk in here, but until I hold this, they yeah. won't hear what we're saying. Okay. All right? They'll only hear what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. When you hold this down. Yeah, you have to hold it down, say what you want to say, let it go, and then they can talk back. If you hold it down, they can't speak back because it's only one person on the radio for Christina. So the time. it's kind of like a walkie talkie. It's exactly like a walkie talkie. Okay. Yep. Okay, so let's go back to our checklist. And you can see right here, System test. these are the uh, cylinder head temperatures for all of our cylinders. So as they start warming up, we can actually see this, uh, uh, the temperatures start to, to come alive and, and we'll actually monitor this and we'll do a run up and make sure that the cylinders are all working the way that they should. Uh, and we do all that before we take off. If there's anything wrong or if anything doesn't look right, I'll just have to terminate the flight today and we'll have to just do it another day. We'll have a mechanic look at it, make sure everything's uh, looking okay right now. Hopefully so, that does not happen. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but we, if it, if it doesn't look right, it's always better to be safe and, and uh, we can always fly another day. So you guys can always come up whenever you want. We can do something like this. So. All right, so I've set all my comms here. This is actually the ground that I'm going to speak to, and then 18.5 is the tower. So I'll have that in there, and I can switch between the two. I can just click that, and it switches the two. So that, that's a really easy one to do. And then when I want to go over to departure, this is my comm two, my communications second unit. I can just click that, and I'm now on two down here. So I have three frequencies I'm talking to right now. I'm going to talk to the ground to get my taxi out to the runway. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to switch to tower and I'm going to get my takeoff clearance. And, and when they hand me over to departure, I'll switch to the mic two and I'll be on Cleveland departure. Okay. Pretty cool? Yeah. Okay. No wonder why dad's so quiet in the other video. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you can say hi to your YouTube video. Hi. Right there. And also you could probably say hi over here <laughs> on the wing. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click on the taxi lights and landing lights. I always have all the lights on uh, even during the day. I just like to be as safe as possible and I feel like uh, as, as bright as possible to everybody else so they, they can see what you know what we're seeing. And you can adjust these to keep yeah. the, the sun out of your uh, face. If you need anything, just let me know and we can we can take care of it. All right? Okay. Let's see if I can put my glasses over here. Oh. Dad, you gonna say anything before you take off? Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Yep. All right. All right, so... One thing I'm noticing here is, see the, uh, this is cylinder head temperatures? Yeah. And the, the number six cylinder head temperature hasn't registered yet. Now that could be a problem, we don't know yet because uh, it hasn't warmed up. Um, so it's 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 one of the cooler ones, uh, but so we can see if, if that's going to be an issue um, as we start to taxi out and do the run up. If it still doesn't show, then we're going to have to terminate the uh, the flight. But that would be an indicator that uh, you know might might not be anything wrong. It might be like a probe that's just not attached correctly that slipped off. Um, but it, it that's something where we would want what well, we wouldn't want to continue unless we knew why that was happening. So. All right. So, anyways, we're gonna go out to the uh, taxi to run up. So we're gonna go out to. We're gonna go out to the taxi uh, area. So we're gonna go ahead and look at. Uh, we're on the ground frequency. Cherokee one whiskey report right midfield downwind for runway two four. The wind is two seven zero at niner. Altimeter three zero three five. So I'm gonna ask for a taxi clearance next. 
and I'm going to give that person a couple seconds to respond to their commands. I might not hear them, but they may be talking to the tower right now. So. Baron 391, Bravo Romeo, County Tower, runway 24, cleared land, windows 270 at Niner, altimeter 3035. I'll give him a second to repeat that. County Ground, Centurion 761 off Quebec, CC hangars, uh, ready to taxi. Centurion 761 off of Quebec, runway 24, taxi via Uniform, Victor, Alpha 3 and Alpha, full short of runway 24 at Uniform. Alright, taxi to runway 24 via Uniform, Victor, Alpha 3, Alpha, hold short runway 24 at Uniform, one off of Quebec. Okay, so they've given me a taxi instructions to get, come out to here, basically, uh, except when we get to runway 24, we have to hold because that person's landing. Remember, we just heard them request yeah. a landing. So that's basically what's happening. So I'm gonna take the parking brake off and I'm gonna test the brakes real quick. Yep, my brakes work just fine. And oh. then see the pedals down here? Yeah. I'm pushing with my right. Yeah. And we're gonna go right. So I'm not touching, this is, this. we don't even need this, right? This is just the, this is just the uh, the wings, and they don't do anything on the ground. So we'll see the person who comes down. Oh uh, yeah, they should be coming in right now. So you look over to the right, and we'll we'll expect them to come over here. I bet they're playing to their white or like yellow or something. Because when me and my dad were pulling, and we saw a yellow plane, I was like, oh, is that theirs? Okay, so here we go. See the cylinder number six? Yeah. It's starting to come alive. Though it was just cold. Yeah. And that's because it's the last one in the front. Oh. Right behind the oil cooler. So it always is the coolest. Alrighty. And then uh, we also want to check do some things when we get out here. But here, do you see him now? Oh uh, yeah. There he is right there. So, and I'm gonna have to hold anyway, so I don't need to rush, because I'm gonna have to hold until uh, they get by here. And because we wanna be as safe as possible, there's no reason to pull straight up to the runway as he's going by, right? So we can just kind of in inch along here. As I don't see him as anymore. Well. He's right there. Oh yeah, now I do. We're farther away, it looks like he's like, like a normal airplane, like a big airplane, but then when you get closer, it's like small. Yep. And number one Alpha Quebec, cross runway 24 at uniform. Cross runway runway 24 at uniform, one Alpha Quebec. And when we cross the runways, we want to look right and left. Even though we think we know where everything is, we just want to clear right and clear left. And we don't want to be playing around on the runway, so we want to cross it relatively quickly. So now we're clear of the runway. And now we want to go on to, this is Alpha 3. This is the Alpha 3 exit. Mm -hmm. And this is Alpha. See that Alpha sign b both ways? Yeah. And run, that was runway 24 that they landed on. Yeah. Kind of a clue as to which runway we're using. And the opposite. One whiskey, runway 24, clear to land. The opposite is runway 6. Okay, so we heard another person saying they're clear to land. So now we we know that there's another person coming to land. From over there. Yeah. Okay. Now this is a towered airport, so they are instructing me to do everything. So I don't have to remember or know where the traffic is really. Yeah. But if it was in an untowered airport, then we would have to make sure we knew where everybody was. So there's two different types of airports. This one is a towered airport. It's a lot safer because everything is uh, monitored by another human being. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down to the end here and we're gonna do a run up. So we're gonna actually do a an engine run up, full engine run up and test out the engine, make sure the engine looks like it's working correctly. There's no weird indications that we're getting from anything. Stuff like that. And they said the, the wind was at 300 at six. That's back this way on yeah. my left. So I'm actually gonna loop around here and point into the wind. We always wanna point into the wind when we're doing a run up. So the way we, we turn is we give it a little gas here with the throttle 
and we're on the brake here. We just slowly brake, slowly brake, and just let it come around. Wait, so where's the other plane? Like that, he'll be behind me. Landing. Oh, he will? Yep. All right, so now here we are. We want to do a mixture rich, and we want to throttle. We're going to do a parking brake set here, and we want to throttle up to 1,700 RPM. There we go, there's 1700 RPM. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check, there's two different magnetos. These are this, the systems that are uh, firing on the cylinders. So we take one of them away to check. Say so it went to 1640. Yeah. Now it's back to 1700. We yeah. wanna see the same drop on the other one. 1640, 30, that's good, perfect. So now we know the magnetos are good. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna cycle the propeller. The propeller has oil. It uses the oil to change the pitch of the blade. Hear it? Yeah. We're gonna go bring it back up. And we're just cycling the oil through. We, oh, there it is. We're actually looking at a couple things here to make sure that the oil is indeed doing what it's doing. We're looking at the windshield to make sure there's no oil on the windshield. Oh, okay. So these are all just checks that we do before we fly to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to be working. And we're looking at the cylinder head temperatures. Everything looks right there. Cherokee on whiskey taxi, or correction, taxi to parking, the Alpha 4 Alpha. And we're going to bring it all the way back to idle to make sure the idle is working as well. And the amperage is still going, so it's still generating electricity. All right, so everything is checked here. With magnetos, propeller, engine instruments, ammeter, throttle to idle. We're gonna turn on the autopilot. And, or actually we're gonna uh, turn on just the flight director here. And heading. And the heading was 24 unless they give me a different heading. So when they uh, clear me for departure, they could give me a different heading. They could say turn left or right. So whatever they want me to do, I'm going to I'm going to do. Uh, and we have uh, all of it, all of the stuff set in the map so we know exactly where we're going to be going. The lights are on. Uh, I'm going to turn on the pedo heat. So the pedo heat is on now. And we want to do 10 degrees of flaps. Watch the flaps come down. See it? They came down right here. See how they're kind of hanging down a little? Uh. I'll lift them back up. Watch. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is 10 degrees of flaps. That's what we use for takeoff in this aircraft. And they'll come back up as well as the gear when we're ready to go. Okay. Are you all set? Yeah. All right. Any questions? Uh, no. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and taxi up to that yellow line right here. See that yellow line? It's the hold short line. Yeah. And I'm going to talk to tower here. So I'm switching to tower. I'm actually going to go ahead and put in the frequency for departure up here so I don't have to change the comms. So now all I have to do is just click that, and it'll be all set. So I have everything dialed in the, uh, the right way. We've already uh, checked off all the clearance. And so we're going to go ahead and make the map kind of where we want it to be. And let's take this off right here. You can just tell me when we're over Cedar Point. Okay, you'll, it, <laughs> it'll be a, a little bit, so. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the left break here. We're gonna go ahead and just go this way. And we're gonna let Tower know that we're ready to go. County Tower, so uh, Centurion 761, I'm going back, ready to go to four. Centurion 1 Alpha, Quebec, hold short of runway 24, waiting high for release. Hold short, 24, one off of Quebec. Alrighty. Got the seatbelts are tightened. Everything's good there. <clears throat> All set. Alright, yeah. good deal. I think Dad's sleeping back there. <laughs> Just relaxing. <laughs> yeah. Centurion 1 Alpha Quebec, on departure, turn right heading 330, maintain 3000. Runway 24, clear for takeoff. Right to 330 on departure, up to 3000, clear for takeoff, runway 24, 1 Alpha Quebec. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to 3000 feet, and we're going to be at 330 altitude. Alright, here we go. 
First thing we want to do is just uh, line up on the center line up here. It's a mile long runway, so if we have any issues, if I see anything wrong with this, the first thing we'll be doing is just aborting and we'll just pull the throttle and we'll taxi back and figure out what's going on. All right, so here we are at the center line. You see the arrows? Yeah. That's where we want to be right here. All right, and we're going to just slowly bring in the power here. Fuel flow looks right. Airspeed is alive. There's rotate. So we're going to just slightly come off the ground here like that. All right, and the gear is going to come up. And the flaps are going to come up. I'll feel it sink a little. And we'll go ahead and make our turn to the right. They want us at 330, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to pull the propeller back a little, so you'll hear it come down a little. Hear that? Could you do like a 360 or 301 off of contact departure? Go to departure, have a good day. All right, so we're bringing back our settings here. We're gonna go ahead and put the... There we go. Could you do a 360 with this? Hold on a second. Just wanna make sure I have this set the right way. All right, there we go. All right, so then we're gonna go to departure. I'd like to request a practice approach ILS into Burke. There we go. Cleveland departure, good afternoon. Set train 761 off the back, just out of county, 2.2 for 3, heading 330. 19 er squawk 4644. 4644, 19er x 1 Alpha, Quebec, Cleveland departure, Ident, climb maintain 8000. Ident, and climb maintain 8000, 1 off Quebec. All right, so we're going to go up to 8000 here. North of Lake County. Cleveland off the red, 3035, stay off 2. 3035, we're currently at 2500. Currently climbing at a, a brisk 1,300 feet per minute, which is nice. Nine or zero vector to final approach course at Lakefront. You see the you see the uh, city over here. Zero vector final. Uh oh yeah. In Cherokee one and nine direction. Pretty cool, huh? VFR below 3,000. Maintain VFR at or below 3,000. For one and a half of Quebec, radar contact four miles northwest of Carroll County Airport. Fly heading at 280 vector for your climb. Left to 280, one off Quebec. And uh, the autopilot's doing all the work here for me, but we're turning to 280. Cleveland approach. So the, the compass is 360 degrees, uh, starting at 360 is north, and uh, goes all over 180 degrees is south. And so everything in between, that's sort of how we know where we're going. So look at this, we're going through the clouds. Okay, that's cool. 24, 22 to center maintain at 3,000. Do you think you'd be flying through the clouds today? Yeah. Here we go. Wait, so autopilot's technically like a human being, another human being flying. It's just a computer. Oh. It's just doing what it's telling, what we'll I'm telling it to do. Back to wait now. It's the one that I expect, Roger. Turkey 19 or X-ray is one, two miles from Tabby. Turn right, heading 210. Maintain the VFR till Tabby's on the localizer. Clear Alice, runway 24, right approach. Turn right heading 210. You see how it's getting bright? Uh, yeah. That means we're almost at the top of the clouds. Uh, Departure flight 2422, turn left heading at 330 in the airport of Beachure, 11 o'clock, Windsor Mountain. Whoa, sees. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. The air, oh, like a normal big airplane go higher than this, though. What's that? Does a normal big airplane go higher than this, though? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they go all the way up to 40,000 feet. 
so loud. See this ring right here? This shows us where we can glide if the engine turns off. Okay, for flight so we always want to keep the land within this circle. Okay, flight Is that another airplane right there? Uh huh. Four right cross 6.5 DME at 3,000. Contact tower. So I'm back in the mixture off here. Good afternoon. Uh, so we get a little bit better fuel air mixture ratio. Four four six whiskey quick folks. I could put some music on right now, but it's such a short flight that I think we better just just talk, you know. But the clouds end over here, so we should be able to get a good view of, of Cedar four, Point. Six whiskey, Roger, keep the code, the frequency change proof. Seven two Delta Bravo Cleveland approach Cleveland number three zero three five and expect or advise when you have the weather at uh, Port Quinn. Okay three zero three five and uh, we'll look at the weather right now uh, two Delta Bravo. One of the other things is when we get to eight thousand feet, I'm actually going to um, well I'm probably going to cancel our IFR clearance and, and change to what's called VFR, which means I can go anywhere I want at that point. So right now I have to follow their instructions exactly what they're saying. Is that better? I can't yeah. see. There you can. Yeah, oh. 1975 Cleveland approach. There we go. From my like two four right. Put your sunglasses on. It's easy. I need to take the headset off though. Uh, That's okay. It's just loud, so just prepared, prepared for uh, it being a little bit loud. You can slip the sunglasses right in. You can? Yeah. You should be able to. Right over the top of your ears. Yeah. Number one nine or X-ray contact okay. front tower. Contact tower one nine. Just it. Yeah, I got the. Number so one on. Alpha Quebec weather reporting is available at Port Clinton Airport. Advise me have it. Uh, one Alpha Quebec, we'd like to cancel VFR. We're going to do it uh, just uh, circling over Sandusky, and then uh, we're going to head back. So just stay with you on VFR if possible. November 1, Alpha Quebec, IFR Canada Station received it cleared through the Cleveland Class Bravo airspace, maintain BFR. All right, cleared through Bravo, maintain BFR. Thanks, 1, Alpha Quebec. All right, so at this point, we can kind of uh, just stay on our current course here. Right over to Sandusky. Aircraft ahead of you on final report cancellation of IFR this trip. Put your headset on. Your ground. Put your headset on. Put your headset on. Put your headset on. Cancel now. Get 33. Get 33. IFR cancellation received. Yep. Fuck VFR. Frequency change approved. Good day. VFR can or frequency change approved. Get 33. Have a good day. Got it. And there's uh, Cleveland Hopkins Airport off to our left. You see it way over there. No. That big piece of concrete on the ground over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Cleveland Hopkins Airport. There is a chain. All right. Pretty cool. I was struggling with my microphone. I was like, where is it? <laughs> it's hard. Uh, it's one of the things that... It's tough to do uh, when you first start flying is to pick out things and uh, they teach you how to pick out landmarks and fly vi just visually uh, following landmarks. That's one of the first things that you uh, you learn. All right, so we're at our cruise altitude, 8,000 feet. So the, the alt uh, cap means capture and it's capturing that 8,000 foot. So it's gonna nose over here. Turn right click shirt, to maintain 4,000. Just like that. Uh, we're going to start cruising over to Cedar Point. Be there in a... Well, let's see. Uh, let's see. Where will Cedar Point would be right there. About 27 mil. Oh, about 20, 22 minutes. 20 minutes, maybe, once we get going here. And we can actually go direct to there. Is that heater on? 
Yes. We'll see. Nine zero two. It's gonna warm up here. Three zero three six. My my feet are freezing. Are yours freezing? <laughs> it's uh, right now outside. It's four degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. Wait outside. Yep. Oh my god. Four degrees. Seven five seven Fahrenheit. Cleveland folks, Cleveland temperature three zero three six. Oh, it is cold, but what a beautiful day. Look at this. Like it looks not like it's cold, but really it is. Actually, I'm gonna go. Let's see. Let's go this way. So we stay closer to the coast here. I don't like to be too far out of the water. We are not landing in the water if there's a problem. <laughs> it is too cold. All right, do you want to fly the plane? Uh, sure. Okay, so let me take the autopilot off here. Two short, two seventy-seven. Clear visual approach from like two four cows coming. So I will do that here. All right, so we're going to just practice some turns, right? Okay. So go ahead and grab, hold the yoke right here. And we're going to just slowly turn to the left. Go ahead, turn to the left a little. There you go. Now straighten it back out. Now see how it just stays at a turn. Now turn to the right until we're level, about level here. All right, straighten it back out. There you go. You're flying the plane. The line sees. So you see, just look out here, see the horizon? Just try to keep it level. There you go, exactly. Perfect. That's perfect. You end up flying your first plane. Yep. Yeah. Not too shabby. The handlebar's kind of like go-kart. Yeah. <laughs> Contact County Tower today. Pretty good. Now we're going a little to the right, so straighten back out. Go to the left a little. You see, just look straight out. Just pick pick out the horizon. Just look out there. Can you even see it, Cease? No, but yeah. a little bit, yeah. Can you see some of the horizon? Yeah, you can just pick that out. I should have lifted the, uh, there's a, let's see if I can get this up here goes this way. Does that help? Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. Cleveland approach, Cherokee 69 or 30 Juliet, 1600, heading 350. All right, so go back to the left now. Or, there you go. Keep, just keep the wings level, perfect. Two Delta Bravo, IFR, clean space for Steve. Radar service terminate 12 VFR, frequency 10. And now you can try going up and down. So we're a little, we're a little high, so we want to go down to 8,000. So push forward a little. See how we go down? Keep the wings level. For 6930 Juliet, Cleveland, departure ride. See? Now pull back. And we come back up. Oh, I did. 6930 Juliet. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I got the plane. Radar Echo. Awesome. Good job. Nicely done. We'll put it back on autopilot here. Heading 0 90 4, VFR. Cherokee 6 9 or 3 0 2 And we'll just, it's just going back to the predetermined heading and altitude here. All right. 34707, Cleveland approach. Information Delta is current. Expect the ILS from my 24 right. So we're just going to head, we're just going to kind of head right over here to Cedar Point, and we'll just do a quick little circle around the park, and then we'll head back. So all that over there is Canada. What's that? All that over there is Canada. That's all Canada. Yep. Uh, that over there is Putt Bay. Turn right. One of those three islands over here. <laughs> three zero Juliet, turn right, direct Charlie Mike Uniform. Charlie Mike Uniform, three zero Juliet. All right, three zero Juliet, uh, turn right, direct India 17. Ooh, went up to six okay. degrees. Turn right, direct India 17. A whole six degrees. Outside. 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 Outside.
a lot of it's, a lot of flying is, um, a lot of being a pilot is not only just the, the flying part, but also like learning how to do the radios and the navigation and the, you know, just communication, navigation. Uh, but the very first thing that you, you know, obviously need to worry about is just the, the flying part. You got that down. You turned left, right, kept the wings level. You went up, you went down. You did all the things that you needed to, to do. So seven at three eight, contact Cleveland Center one three four point nine. All right, I'm starting to see uh, Cedar Point here. Four four six whiskey contact uh, Cleveland Park one three four point two. I haven't been to Cedar Point in a long time. No, we haven't gone in like... Three zero Julia, traffic one, a mile altitude in case 1,600. Looking for traffic, three zero Julia. place that everybody likes to go to. There's an airport over there as well. Wait, so that island over there or that one over there? That's over there. Oh, yeah. over there? Yeah. That one is actually a Canada's island over there, the far one. And then that's Canada on the other side. I see the yellow one to top something. Cleveland approach, Piper Air on November 2896, Papa request. For 2896, Papa, Cleveland approach, Air request. Yeah, we're just about north, about five miles north of Norwalk, uh, that's uh, 5A Alpha. We'd like to transition your airspace on our way to uh, Lake County Executive KLNN. No wonder it takes so long to drive here. Why is that? Oh, because it's such a long way out? Yeah. 96 Papa Squawk, 4621. 4621, Piper Arrow. Their wings at one at 78 instead of maintaining that four down. That's yeah. pretty cool, Cease. Yeah. Is there people there right now? Information Delta is currently expected out for I think so. I, it looks like the parking lot's it looks like the parking lot is uh, empty. But there may be workers there. I don't know. Maybe some security people and six pop radar contact four miles northwest of Norwalk, Cal Street in case two thousand four hundred. Roger that. Number nine or six, Papa cleared through the Cleveland Bravo airspace. Clear through the Bravo airspace, two eight nine six, Papa. Thank you very much. I see the Raptor. I see the. Uh, sure, we want to turn left heading three three zero. That's all I remember. I don't remember most of the ride. I see the oldest one there. I don't. I don't remember. It's like a blue one. I don't. Oh uh, yeah, that's the uh, blue thunder or something. Yeah, it's either the one in the way back or the well, no, it's the one up front. The one with the like. Oh, there's a millennium. Look, Dad. Yeah, I see it. Millennium. That doesn't look that scary from here, but when you go down. And departure 761 Alpha Quebec. Alpha Quebec, Yeah, uh, just a quick pop up uh, IFR to get back to county. Alpha Quebec, Roger, clear to county. Are you going to county or Los Angeles? County, 1 Alpha Quebec. Alpha Quebec, clear to county via radar vector supply, present heading, maintain 8,000, vector ILS, 24 approach. 
All right, radar vectors maintain the current altitude and heading, uh, and we'll expect two for ILS, one off Quebec. One off Quebec, County weather, wind is 3009, our visibility 10, assuming 2,000 for broken, altimeter is 3035. 35, one off Quebec. All right, so let's see, we can go into here, we can do load procedure, approach, and ILS 24, and it's gonna be vectors, we can load the approach, and there we go, we're all set. So, and then I can actually go in here and look at the chart, and the chart will tell me exactly what I need to know for all the frequencies. So the frequency that I'm gonna be using, ILS, allows, allows us to fly straight down with no visibility all the way down to the runway. Of course, we'll have plenty of visibility here, but I'm gonna just practice this, because it's good to do. Um, so I, it's already... Make it a left turn heading 07. Is that for one off the back, 070? Turn heading 070. 070 for one off the back. All right, um, and so I get just a brief of this, this uh, approach is what they call it. You'll brief it, so it means you go over everything and make sure you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure all the all of your frequencies are in. Otherwise, I'd lose you. Stop with 63, descend and maintain 3,000. So all that stuff, but I already know. I've already done this a bunch of times, so. It also puts everything on the map for me. So there we go. So yeah, we're uh, doing pretty good here time-wise, and engine's looking great. Weather's looking great. Your old plane had three rows. This one only has two. Uh, this one over here. Uh, no, the your plane does only have two rows. Uh, three. Oh, There's good. another row behind your dad. There is. Yep. Is it folded down? Uh. Number five two two. Yes. Contact. One, two, five, point it's five. a bench, so you can fold it down. That's usually how we fly it, because we then it's more uh, cargo, because we have a lot of stuff with Gavin and everything. Um. So yeah, but if we fly like six people or five people, we need to we need to put it up. So yep, there's the city over there. You can kind of see it. There's the Cleveland Hopkins Airport is off to your one o'clock here. It's about. Is that where you're gonna land? About 20 miles off there. No, we're gonna be landing on the other side of Cleveland, on the east side, back where we took off. I thought the airport was open, but I guess not. What? Five hundred five two two eight Cleveland approach. I thought Cedar Point was open, but it's not. No. 63, turn right heading 150. We just checked for everybody. Number 96, Papa, traffic 11 o'clock in three miles westbound, AVFR, Skyline, 1800. Looking for the oh, great, nice, Papa. Number 1, Charlie Mike, traffic 11 o'clock, three miles eastbound, VFR, Cherokee, 2500. We'll keep an eye out for that Cherokee, thanks. One, Charlie Mike. Center 2896 Papa's got him in sight. I'm going to deviate uh, 10 degrees to the right. 296 Papa, please. What were Ruben and Roxy doing when they're on the fly? Just on their iPads. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long flight. It's a five hour flight down to Florida. Which well, if you did make it there, we could turn. Guys? We could turn right now and head down if you want. Nice. We, have, we have enough fuel. <laughs> We would just go to the right here. Three clear. There's the first runway two four eight. What were you guys going to do there if you did land there? Remember one Charlie Mike traffic no faster. What do you mean? Like, oh, Florida? Yeah. Oh, we just, we rented a car and drove all the way down after we landed the plane. We just left the plane at the maintenance shop just to have them look at it. And we just, kept, we just drove all the way down. So, we just went went to the beach. We can get from here to the beach on the east coast, like Ocracoke, North Carolina, in about uh, three hours. 
So pretty quick. If you leave in the morning, like 6 a.m., you can be there before everybody wakes up, basically. How long does it take to go to California? A long time. It's like 13 hours, I think. Yeah. Going out west. How about on a normal big plane? About five hours. Oh. Five, five or six hours. Yeah, this is going... This usually goes about 200 miles an hour, and a jet will go somewhere around 400 or 450 miles an hour. Both don't really matter going west, but when you come back east, you get the tailwinds behind you, and then it's better to go higher up. So the jets can get even faster because they're up at 40,000 feet. Uh, this plane, it doesn't have any oxygen or it's not pressurized, so we can't go very high and we don't have a turbo on the engine, so. If we it, went too high, we wouldn't be able to breathe. Yeah, you, you get. 3514, it's going to mean 7,000. You, you get what's called hypoxia, which is you're, you lose, um, you feel all warm and fuzzy and it's, not, it's uh, not good because you feel like nothing's wrong. You're just like, oh, this is great. And you just kind of like don't, your brain doesn't, your brain just kind of stops working. Center 3514, verify if Mike and Eckerd Kenton. Thank you. There's only one plane by us. What's up? There's only one plane by us. Yep. He probably just took off of uh, Cleveland. So, yeah, he's probably... Headed down south somewhere. Looks like he turned to the right. Maybe back back to the west. November 1, Charlie Mike, if you're not already, change to my frequency 126.35. 126.35, switch over. How are you doing back there, Dad? Just enjoying the view. There you go. Thank you. Are your feet warmer now? Yeah. Got the heat going. Fiona was going to wear shorts and a t-shirt today. She'd be fine now, but that first <laughs> half an hour, it'd be, she'd have some frostbite. That's 8923, Cleveland Apart to Radar Contact. Look at the little, way, uh, little stripes on the water down there. Oh, yeah. Kind of cool. And there's downtown Cleveland. Now what are we flying over? That's Cleveland Hopkins right there, that airport. So that's... Remember one Alpha Cold Hold on a second. Just gonna maintain 4,000. Just gonna maintain 4,000, one Alpha Quebec. All right, we're gonna enter descent. And what lake are we flying over? What, Charlie Mike, 3,500 approved. What's that? Uh, lake Erie. Same lake. 4514, just gonna maintain 5,000. What happens when you run out of oxygen? If we ran out? Yeah. Even if we were up at a yeah. really high altitude, you get hypoxia. So you can look at, you can Google that. But it's basically, you just, uh, you kind of fall asleep. And you die? Eventually, yeah, if you don't come back down. Yep. If you just keep at the same altitude with no oxygen. Yep. Wait, so no, none of the things come down? We don't have, yeah, so we don't have any oxygen on this plane, so. There are uh, planes like this with uh, oxygen canisters. They put them in the ceiling, so you, you can use oxygen. But those are only for uh, ones that have a turbocharged engine that can go higher. This, this plane only can go to probably like 14,000 feet. And you really aren't going to get hypoxic until you get above that, so there's no reason to have oxygen. Cleveland departure, radar contact. All right, so uh, from from here till the landing, we're gonna. I'm just gonna be quiet, so I'm gonna just listen to them and follow their instructions. So that's what we'll be doing. November one, Alpha Quebec, just gonna maintain four thousand. Just gonna maintain four thousand, one Alpha Quebec. I see you're already doing that, thanks. And one Alpha Quebec, if you're not already, change to my frequency 125.35. Yeah, we're with you, 25.35. Thank you. Rickard, 4784, contact, Cleveland Center, 134.9er. <laughs> 
November 30, Juliet, contact Cleveland Approach, 124.2. 124.2, Cleveland Approach, Cherokee 6930, Julia. Southwest 4705, Cleveland Approach, radar contact, climb maintain 14000. United 2350, climb maintain 14000. Remember 1 Alpha, Quebec, descend and maintain 3000. Descend and maintain 3000, 1 Alpha, Quebec. November 1 Alpha Quebec, 5 miles from Crook, camera heading 210, maintain 3000 until established on the localized there, cleared ILS runway 24 approach. Right to 210, maintain 3000 until established, cleared ILS 24, 1 Alpha Quebec. Look at the ice crystals, you see it? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. It is not adhering, so that's not a problem. I thought it was rain. November 1 Alpha Quebec, contact County Tower, 118.5, good day. Corner Tower, thanks for your help. Tower, good evening. Centurion 761 off of Quebec, ILS 24. Centurion 761 off of Quebec, County Tower, wind is 300 at Niner, altimeter 3035. Runway 24, cleared to land. Cleared to land, runway 24, one off of Quebec. And the airlines are pointed into the wind, which is coming from over here. And we steer with our rudder, with our feet. Flaps are coming up. Leaning for a taxi. Cow flaps are open. And number one Alpha Quebec, say intentions. Go to the CC hangers. And number one Alpha Quebec, you can make a 180 back taxi runway 24 and proceed uniform victor to parking. All right, 180 back taxi to uniform over to parking. Thanks. That's the tower right there. That's the tower. There it is. How many people are inside? Uh, sounds like just one right now. Maybe maybe another one, but I haven't heard them. How does one person control like a lot of people? Well, they're just doing the tower, and sometimes they'll have another person for the ground taxiing. So there'll usually be two. But as you can see, there's not a lot of traffic going on here, so. No. And I will call up our fuel and have them come out and fuel up the plane for me before I we put it back in the hangar. Do that right now. Cleveland Jet Center Centurion seven six one Alpha Quebec. Seven six one Alpha Quebec, go ahead. Yeah, we're uh, CC hangar number forty two. Just need to top off. This will be under the name Scott. Right, top off at CC hangar number 42 under the last name Scott. Stay firm, thank you. I would say that's a pretty beautiful flight, huh? That's very nice. Yeah. Nice and smooth. We had very little turbulence. We always have someone when we come into land. It's kind of fun. Oh, it's so much fun. That's definitely true.
I don't oh. think you're going to have too many people to disagree with you on that one. Only way to travel, Cease. Yeah. Private plane. Do we have to be in, like, pilot school for, like, eight years? No. Nope. Well, oh. depends on what you want to do. For me, I didn't... Uh, it, it took me um, a summer to get my pilot's license, so it took me three months to get it back in 1998. And uh, and then I got my instrument rating, which allows me to fly in clouds. Um, and I did that in uh, about a summer as well, maybe four or five months. All right, so this should be about all right where we need it. All righty. And I'm just going to do one quick snapshot of the engine and flight hours so I can see where we are here. We always just write this down and then we can record how many flight hours each of us did. All right, I'm going to let you turn the airplane off. Ooh. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm going to turn the avionics off. So this is going to go off, and we're not going to be able to hear each other. Um, but right, right after I do this, I want you to pull. I want you to see this button right here. I want you to push and pull, pull the thing back. But you have to push this button to pull it. Okay. So you go, you go like that, and then you pull yeah. all the way back. Okay. All right, and that's going to shut off the engine. This is the, the fuel mixture. So what you're doing is you're cutting the fuel off. Okay. So here we go.